Today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about how to cook potatoes in the Instant Pot. There are a thousands of potatoes, actually about 4,000 different varieties in the world. So which ones should you choose? Well, that all depends on what kind of potatoes you want to make. If you just want to boil potatoes, then I recommend any kind that is waxy and not starchy. So low in starch, so they're easy to just poke and don't fall apart. The starchy kind like russet or yellow flesh, they are great for mashed potatoes. So check out my mashed potatoes recipe. But for just boiled potatoes, any kind of the waxy. Red potatoes are your best, best and the back should say something like great for salads or otherwise all the ones that are sold as little tiny potatoes which are new potatoes creamers fingerlings those kinds of potatoes are also amazing to cook just to eat you know as a whole so what you're going to want to do is pull out your instant pot of course and then choose potatoes that are about the same circumference so don't choose a very very fat one and a very very skinny one to cook in the instant pot at the same time because one will overcook while the other one doesn't finish cooking so choose potatoes that look approximately the same they don't have to be exactly the same but similar and then put them in your instant pot and choose the fattest of them and measure them because the timing will depend on the circumference of the fattest potato so here I'm choosing one I'm measuring it and in the description I will have a list a full list of the timings depending on the circumference of your potatoes then it's time to cover the potatoes in water make sure that they are completely covered in water then put on the lid and seal it and set your instant pot to the required minutes depending on the size or the circumference of your potatoes. And just like with these red potatoes, you would do the exact same with your creamer potatoes. You add all somewhat similar sized potatoes into your instant pot, choose the fattest and measure it, cover them all with water and then set it. Once the high pressure cooking time is over, all we do is wait for natural pressure release, which means we do nothing, we don't mess with the valve, we just wait for the safety pin to drop all on its own. This usually takes 15 to 18 minutes. At that point, it's safe to open the pot and drain your potatoes. What I like to do is I just use my pasta drainer, put it on top, use some oven gloves to pull out the insert of the Instant Pot and drain it over my sink. Now at this point, you can either serve your potatoes, cut them open, peel them if you like, or you can make it super fancy and make them extra delicious. For example, with these creamer potatoes, we're going to make smashed potatoes. So take your cooked cream of potatoes, put them on a baking sheet and then use a glass or your hands or anything and just smash them flat. Then drizzle a little bit of oil or butter on top, some garlic if you like, and then put them under the broiler for anywhere from three to eight minutes, depending on how strong your broiler is, or until they crisp up nicely and become delicious. Then take them out of the oven, sprinkle some parsley on top, and if you didn't use salted butter, then you might even want to add a little bit of salt and dive in. I hope you found this guide useful. I hope you're going to make potatoes this week. And if you do, please don't forget to snap a picture and show me. I love seeing when you make any of my recipes and I'll see you with my next video. Bye.